Oh, uh, that's a good. Just a little observation, just a little thought about. It's a good the, option. There. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. They have a lot of slides that would explain the rationale behind choosing. That makes a lot more sense why you would have it on the right instead of on the left. True. That's how this one looks. Um, like I said, options right there. Um, show and hide report map. Would that be where all your reports are? If you had 20 reports on that document? Oh, the tab right here. Report one, report yeah. two. Right. Just up here. Instead at the bottom, before it was at the bottom, right? Your like tab. Big, you also have that, if, if you have 20 on there, you can, right, you can click on the left and it has the stack of all your documents. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't know. We can add. <laughs> we can keep adding and see. I'm pretty sure they'll show three dots on the side and then to click on it, it'll show a list. I don't think that would. It would actually build a scroll for you if you had more. Oh, that's. Touch screen. Right, so you, it only allows so many reports or tabs to show up on the document. If you click that, you got that screen. You can scroll through and see all 30 of them. True. That's some guys that did that. We're going to answer Mike's question in five clicks. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting them up on top, though. There is a drop down. So you can rename those and all that, right? Yep, just click on the drop down and then, you know, so rename, the move, thing. duplicates, same options. So these are similar options. So it's not that bad for a regular user. It's just a matter of convenience and preference that you'll be like, I don't like this. Or, But this is what it's going to be. This is the future. <laughs> and the future is fun. And the future is fun. On June 32nd. June 33rd. Um, they will give you, I mean, they have this recycle bin option right now also available in your um, Fiori Launchpad. Uh, any questions on this UI so far? By the show of hand, who loves it? <laughs> That's good. True. Kind of what we need. We need a, a facelift in order to compete with some of these new, more simple tools. They don't do all the, the boring stuff, but they do all the fun stuff. And they look nice. This is, this is uh, definitely more of a reference to the early system. This is certainly better than what I was going to Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little hard to develop in a, a complete opinion, too, when you can't see half of it. <laughs> see what? It's just all white. You know, oh, there's, so, there's so much that, that I mean, with this beta that is just like, I can't even true, see. True, but here's the, another thing with this um, choice of Fiori that they're making. They will be kind of like, you know, you can apply themes on your phone so that you can see icons in different ways. Your background is different. Same thing is here. You can apply different themes. So... I don't know if they're going to sell it or whatnot, but you can apply different themes. So you can see appearance 
and maybe you'll have a bigger drop down list. So contrast black, I don't know, let's see. Contrast black, oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> But you get the idea that, yeah, okay. you know, they will, I mean, this is a start. So you can pick your different themes. There will be a big library. You want red, pink, whatever. Every user can do whatever they want. So, so yeah. Um, and like I said, right now there is theme designer. So this is a theme designer URL. Uh, you know, you can, it's very easy. You can just browse company logo. You can add it. You can change the color. How do you want the icons to be? You can choose the color. So even right now, they give you the option to customize your Fiori interface. So it's just a matter of people using it and using it as per their preference for viewing it. So maybe we don't like the default right now in the GA release. It may be really good. Uh, but I think it, for me, it's OK. I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, because you just have to get over the part of that right box. And other than that, it's well, still the same. Do training. If they approve that training and that having that, you know, you can go kind of train yourself and watch those videos and stuff, that's very, I see that in a lot of other programs, and it's very, very helpful. Yeah, the web assistant. So that's another thing that hopefully they have it when you're editing a report. That would add more value. Like right here, if you click on it, this side panel has twofold and, <laughs> <laughs> but it's there it's to let you know that it will be there. So yeah, I mean, they may explain how to change the font file, data, insert. So I'm pretty sure they will cover those. Because even right now, they do have a library of all the features with YouTube videos. So it's just a matter of them putting in the UI. All right? Probably the biggest change, but at least it's probably mostly. I was happy that I got at least one hand for the <laughs> UI. So that was the new UI. Thank you.